Hello everyone, this is Tom Trin, Senior Application Engineer for Valent Corporation. Today I will illustrate how to control an IAI RCP actuator with an Archon Gateway Ethernet IP interface from the PLC. The PLC can be any PLC manufacturer, it can be Allen Bradley, can be Mitsubishi, can be Siemens. This just happened to be an online PLC that I'm using here, the N-Series PLC. So what you see in front of you here is the actuator that I show on uh, my camera. This is an RCP actuator, RCP6 actuator. On the left-hand side is a sample program, how to turn on the servo, how to execute a move using this bit, how to home the servo, how to drop the servo forward, how to jump the servo backward. And I have little um, two move statement here basically to change the position before I move. And so that's how it's set up. Having said that, I'm gonna go through it real quick. So you can see if I turn on the servo, the servo will be locked on. And here we go, let's do that. Okay, so servo is on. I know there's a feedback here indicated it is on. That's why the nice turns on here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to jaw. Actually, I'm going to hold it first so you can see. So this is the home. So the actually is homing right now. Okay. So that's position zero. And how do I do that? How do I know that? If I go down here. Yeah, it shows current position minus one. That's 0 0.001 millimeter. Anyway, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to set up my position. Let's say I want to go 2000. That means 20.00 millimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by turning on this bit here. All right. So now the uh, position command that I want to go to is 2000. And I see it's here as well. So now at this point, by the way, in the minimum, you need to set up the position width with some value. It cannot be zero. If you put zero, it will generate an error. So I have one here. That means as long as the position width gets within 0 0.01 millimeter, the position complete signal will turn on. And that's when you know to do the next process. You need to have some speed in here. This is in millimeter per second. I have 100 millimeter per second in here. The Excel, I have 50. That means 0.5G. All right. These are the minimum that you need to set up. Okay. So right now, the current position is I want to go. The position I want to go to is 20 millimeters. So at this point, if I execute this move axis one by turning it on, now it goes to 20 millimeter. And how do I know that? Because if I go down here and look at my status, it shows 20.01 millimeter. Okay. Let's say I'm going to turn this bit off for now. Let's say I want to go to 9,000, which is 90 millimeter. So I'm going to turn that bit on. And as soon as I do that, you see this change to 9,000, which is 90 millimeter. Why not? Okay. But it's not doing anything yet, right? Because I'm just setting up the position where I want it to go. At this point, if I turn on the move bit, it will execute the move and the actuator will extend to 90 millimeter. So let's do that. Why not? It's at 90 millimeter. How do I know that? Because if I go to the current position, the current position is at 9,000. So that's how it works. If I'm on the job, I can certainly do that as well. I'm going to turn off this bit first. So I'm going to jog it minus, so it will go back here to uh, zero. I'm going to stop. See, as soon as I stop, it stops. So that's how it's, it's set up. Very simple once you have the structure set up in here. Now, how do you set up the structure and the global variable? You notice here, I'm going to start right here so you can see it. So I have 
For example, S on. I have a two I I dot axis one dot control dot S on, right? So two I I is the global variable. Let me go to global variable. You see there's a two I I here. All right. And the data type is my AI and this called control within the my AI control, which is data type, which is here. You see within that my AI control, I have three elements. One is the gateway. One is the axis one. One is axis two. So these are, it just happened that I, I have only two axes. If I need to have more axes up to 16 axes, and that's what the icon control. The Archon Gateway EIP, you can have up to 16 axes. You basically are going to build up 14 more axes here. So that's my AI control. And same thing with the respond. Gateway, axis one, axis two. All right. So that's the my AI. Now, within the AI, as you can see, the gateway, you don't need to do much about it, but axis one. So you need to create another structure called axis one. So Archon and this core control. And this core axis one is the structure for that. So within that, I have the position that I want to go to, we should width, speed, accel, decel, pushing current, limit value, and the control. These are control signal, right? So you have that. And then within the control signal or axis one, that's another structure. And within that, these are the bits already mapped out for you. You have CSDR, which is the Execute the move, the home, uh, STP is to pause the position, RES is the reset, SR is what we just used earlier, JSL is basically to inch the, um, the job, you got job velocity, you got job minus, job plus, and so these are some extras in here as well. So my point is all these bits are already mapped out, and so that's the control signal structure. So if you go back to the program, you see to turn on this um, servo, you have two axis dot axis one control axis one, which is the another structure, and then control, and then dot s on. So once you have the structure set up, it is very easy to make the program. So that's how you set up the II Archon Gateway Ethernet IP interface to control an II ICP actuator. It can be actually really any II actuator. It can be IDS, it can be RCP6, and any other legacy ICP as well. As well as EC cylinder, which is the electric cylinder that to replace some of pneumatic cylinder. If you have any questions, please call the number below and thank you for watching.